Hey, do you want to start a private limited company but you're a bit confused on how to go about it? This will be a complete A to Z guide on what to do from start to finish. And unlike other YouTube videos that are more than half an hour, this is a short, concise version that still tells you everything you need to do to get your business up and running. It's actually very, very simple to set up a private limited company. You want to go to this website, www.go slash limited company formation register your company. This link is actually quite hard to find and I'm going to include it in the link in the description. So you're going to need three pieces of information about yourself and your shareholders or guarantors. For example, your town of birth, mother's maiden name, father's name, and you need £12 to be paid by debit card or credit card and your company is usually registered within 24 hours. Now, if you don't want to use limited in your company's name, you must register by post. Okay, boom, let's do it. You click register now. Of course, yes, you're starting a new application. Check before you start, boom. Are you able to pay for this card using a card or PayPal? You should do yes. Are there any directors or persons with significant control? So the secure registers for victims of addressing behavior or violence who cannot risk having their phone address information, their home address information in the public register. Because bear in mind, when you make your private limited company, Unless you ask your accountant if you can use their building to register, you're going to have your home address. So if you have any other reason where you really don't want your home address to be available to anyone, because anyone can just search up your name of the company and boom, your home address is listed, then you want to click yes. In this case, for the vast majority of people, we say no. So we need to create a government gateway user ID for this company, like a login information whenever you log in to do your taxes. So boom. I'm going to create government gateway ID. Now you need to put in your email where the code will be sent to your registered email address. Let me just do that quickly. So you have to be quick to enter this code because it will expire in 30 minutes. And here you put your full name. Now create a password. Now you want to set up a recovery code just in case you ever forget your password. So set up this code. Now you receive your government ID. Now you need to set up additional security, which is make sure that it's only you who can sign in. Text message, voice call, I'd say text message. Are you adding a UK number? Yes. Put in your UK number. Now simply add the code that was sent to your phone number. Now every time you sign in, you're going to have to get an SMS verification code and enter it by your phone text message. You can pick the email address that you used to sign up, why not? Now, what is your relationship to the company? Company director, company secretary, agent, for example, an accountant, other, for example, a friend of the director. In most cases, I think you will know which one you are. So I would say company director in this case. But would a company be a community interest company? We improve our regular limits, how much profit can pay these members. You will know if this is applicable to you. For the vast majority of people who are just making an online business or, you know, they're a sole trader who want more personal liability protection, you're going to say no. So as you know, would a company be limited by shares or limited by guarantee? Limited by guarantee is widely used for non-profits like charities and clubs because profit is rarely given to the earned owners. It's usually kept within the company used for other purposes. In this case, because you're going to be the company director and you're going to pay yourself dividends, it's going to be limited by shares. Company name. Now, obviously, you either can include limited, LTD, or other name endings, which is, you know, for a Welsh company. In this case, I'm just going to call it London Nomad Limited. Your registered address. Usually, this is going to be your home address. But you can ask your accountant if you can use their address. Because remember, you can search the company name and you can find the address online. So, you know, if you're, you have to be comfortable with having your home address available to the internet. So again, where the company be registered. Obviously, if you're Scottish, registry in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, it has to be the same part of the Britain of where your address is. In this case, obviously, it's England and Wales. Where is the company's principal place of business? Where is where the company will carry most of its business activities? If you have like a workshop where you like fix cars, that office, that area is going to be the company's principal place of business. Online entrepreneur, then it will be your home because most of the effort, most of the time is spent at home. So I will just pick the same address as I put as my company. So ways, more ways to contact London Norman Limited, you need to give a phone number, other contact number so i'm just going to give them my phone number so there's a new company replacing another business obviously if you change from a sole trader to a business partnership to a limited company you're going to have to change or if you buy another company you're going to change it in this case most cases i say no 
when the company will start trading. But from this point, you have to keep financial records from this date. So it's always a good idea to keep note of financial transactions that you make because it will make it a lot easier to do your profit and loss on your annual tax return. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please like because it helps spread to more people. I'd say most majority of people on the same day get set up. In the first three months, will the company do the following? Pay interest on non-bank loans, make royalty payments, for example, receive interest or dividend for overseas investment. If these are applicable to you, you will know it. In this case, no, for me. Again, you always want to speak to an accountant because they're going to go a lot more about the correct tax procedures than you or I will be, unless you're an accountant. So in this case, no. What your company will be doing. This one was a bit tricky for me when I first started my company because content creator is not here. So I did something like, you, know, you can have a complete extensive list and I'm going to copy and paste it to you of what your company does. For me, I'm publishing activities because I'm a blog owner and a YouTuber, in a sense, a content publisher makes the most sense. But again, go on the link and really think about what your business is. And if it isn't listed there, what's the one that's closest aligned with it? Save and continue. Has anyone on his application ever sent a secure register form to ask companies how for protection? Again, you're gonna have to ask people who work in your company what is the correct due course for director's details. Now, if you're the director of the company, this will be you. Just put in your details. Again, you wanna pick the same address. Again, you need to put the home address. Now, if this is different, it has to be a different address. I'm going to say yes. You should do yes because it's going to give you a verification email when you have to fill in your taxes. So it's good to do yes. In this case, I'm doing no because this is just for demonstration purposes. In this case, I say no. If Obviously, if you need other directors, add another director. Again, here, you want to confirm. Boom, boom, confirm. Here, you need to ask the company's shareholders. So you need to say who are the company's shareholders, how many shares you want to give them, choose a value for each share, confirm the shareholders and shares you increase. I'm going to just do one because I don't have any shareholder in this company i'm gonna do no most companies use ordering one vote yes i'd say do yes in this one how many shares i only have one this is makes it easier to sell i'm going to do the share valued as one pound i'm going to do confirm and continue person with significant control just do yes again yes yes you want to use mode or because i say yes and here is a final version of confirm so you need to sign in and say you want to confirm the company and here you need to create electronic signature and this is electronic signature that's used instead of a real signature and it will contain three pieces of information such as the town of birth, mother's maiden name, telephone number, passport number. And this is right at the end, you need to pay 12 pounds and you need to make note of the company's house submission number. If you follow all these steps, you've successfully created your public private limited company. It's actually a very easy process that they make out really harder than it is. After you pay your 12 pound, it's all good. Now, if you want to see the benefits of why you should start a private limited company over a sole proprietorship, and if you want to see how to make money online, the business mentality you need for success, please like and subscribe to my channel, The London Nomad. My name is The London Nomad. It's my mission in life to make you financially free. Ciao.